congenital portosystemic shunts, or shunts, are abnormal blood vessels that bypass the liver, preventing essential nutrients and waste products from being processed correctly. This can lead to a variety of clinical signs in affected cats. For cats diagnosed with these shunts, surgical correction is generally considered the treatment of choice for long-term resolution of clinical signs. This is because relying solely on medical management often only provides a partial or short-term response. That's right. When it comes to surgically correcting these shunts, specifically those located outside the liver, known as extrahepatic shunts, several options exist. Surgeons can choose acute partial or complete ligation using sutures, or they might opt for a gradual attenuation method, typically employing devices like a thin film band or an amyloid ring constrictor. The key advantage of gradual occlusion with devices like these is that it significantly reduces the risk of potentially fatal portal hypertension, a serious complication that can occur if blood flow is redirected too quickly back to the liver. Amyloid ring constrictors work by stimulating local inflammation and the formation of fibrous tissue around the shunt, effectively closing it off over time. Some surgeons prefer these constrictors over thin film bands, partly because the bands can vary in their chemical composition, which might impact the cat's inflammatory response to the device. Previous studies evaluating the long-term outcome of using amyloid ring constrictors in cats have shown inconsistent results, which highlights the need for more data. The objective of the study we're discussing today was to report the clinical outcomes for cats treated with amyloid ring constrictor attenuation of an extrahepatic portosystemic shunt, specifically focusing on perioperative, short-term, and long-term results, based on cases from a single institution over a long period and using a more standardized protocol. This study provides valuable information, showing that surgical attenuation of extrahepatic portosystemic shunts with an amyloid ring constrictor can effectively resolve clinical signs and biochemical abnormalities in the majority of cats. However, it reinforces that seizures remain a significant concern and may unfortunately persist long-term in some cases, even when blood work appears normal.